I am Tapo Mayug Bhattacharji. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science in the Bowers College of Computing and Information Science here at Cornell University. Robotics is a big field, right? And we are particularly focusing on robotic caregiving. What I mean by robotic caregiving is ro robots as external agents that are nearby some assistive devices, such as mounted on a wheelchair or mounted on a hospital bed, and helping people to do tasks that they otherwise wouldn't be able to do. So it's not really restoring the functionality of a, of a limb or something like that, it's just assisting them towards doing those activities. There are some labs in the whole world that work on this, and people have started getting promising results, including our own lab, but it's still far from actually helping somebody in their real homes for long-term caregiving solution. And that motivates us to keep working on this area. My name is Rajat Kumar Jainamani. I'm a second year PhD student at Cornell University, where I work in the Emprise Lab with Professor Tapomayuk Bhattacharji. The Emprise Lab stands for empowering people with robots and intelligent shared experiences. We work on building caregiving robots that can help people with activities of daily living, such as feeding, dressing, bathing, and so on, that can empower these people to carry out these activities independently and empower them to live a better life. Empowerment is a great word for accessibility because it allows me to be, I, would say, I won't, don't want to say equal, but it allows me to participate with others. It allows me to do something that's important to me where otherwise I wouldn't be able to. It's very important for us to actually be in touch with all the clinical stakeholders, such as occupational therapists, the caregivers, and the care recipients themselves, for us to better understand the domain so that the solutions that we are developing can one day become useful in their own life. One of the few things I cannot do for myself now is feed myself. And it seems like we're awful close with Tapo and his work at Cornell in the Emprise Labs. Feeding is an essential activity of daily living and enabling a robot to successfully feed an user involves uh, various challenges. If you think about it, food items are of different characteristics, different shapes, different sizes, different compliance, some are hard, some are soft. And then when you feed them to different people, you feed those different food items in different way, how you make it easier for the person to take a bite so that it's comfortable for them and things like that. So this involves some very interesting technical challenges about how to manipulate these deformable food items, how to make sure that the human robot interaction, which is very intimate, it's also seamless and fluent. When I first tried out the autonomous feeding robot, I was blown away with the changes it can make in my life. It has made me much more hopeful for the future and how I'll be able to take care of myself in the future, especially as my parents age. Having the user and all the stakeholders as part of the process of technology development, especially assistive robotics um, development, brings this idea of personalization to the technology side and brings technology closer to the individual selecting to use it and to, you know, maximize their, its use in their everyday life. This is a very exciting field to work in uh, currently, but research in this domain has been restricted to a very few labs, and therefore we want to decrease the barrier of entry, which is the access to stakeholders, and do this in a structured manner so that researchers worldwide can work on the impactful field of like building caregiving robots. For this regard, we proposed a framework called Sparks, which is um, being published at IROS this year, where we discuss how does one structure the problem definition for building caregiving robots, and how do we keep stakeholders in the loop in this process. Another project in the same line of democratizing uh, robotic caregiving is this simulation world that we have created, which is called Arcare World. And our hope is through this simulation world, people would be able to get started on this problem, uh, and then they can use these human avatars and home environments to develop solutions, solutions that would be closer to the real world than what they were doing currently. What I realized when I met Tapo and the people, his, you know, they're incredibly intelligent, they know a lot about robots and what's possible with advanced software, artificial intelligence. 
but they also have big hearts. And their main focus was on empowering people with disabilities. And it's their research and their innovation that shapes um, the robotic products of the future. We are always looking for passionate students. We are always looking for more collaborators uh, who could help us bring these solutions from the labs to the real homes. So if you're passionate about this field and you want to work with us, please join us uh, in, in, this, in this effort to develop meaningful robotic caregiving solutions.